Boy. That's why I got this hole. I'm telling you. That was crazy. My life flashed before my eyes. You're really a heat-seeking missile. That's wild. We here at NFL Films love you mic'd up. Oh. Thank I mean, you. are you always raising your hand to be mic'd up? Because I know a lot of guys that wouldn't want to be mic'd up, and you are a Hall of Fame <laughs> mic'd up candidate. You and George Kittle will have to share the trophy. Are you mic'd up? I am. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. You got to get these juices flowing, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. When you a predator, man, all you do is hunt. Top wood, carry water. How you feeling, flat four? Legendary. Fred Warner has been mic'd up by NFL Let's Films go! seven times. Let's go! He clearly has the gift of gab, but the 49ers captain has proven his actions speak even louder than words. The former BYU standout has been named first team all pro twice. Oh yeah! Let's go! and has powered San Francisco to the NFC Championship game three times. What a play by Fred Warner. Fred Warner ran that all the way down from Mike Linesacker. <laughs> Woohoo! Let's go! The run. All right, flying out there, man. You got lucky. <laughs> In his sixth season, he's the leader of one of the NFL's most dominant defenses. I know y'all scared. But as a rookie in 2018, it took Warner some time to find his voice. I think I was a little bit timid at first. I'm coming into a situation where I'm the, I'm the new kid on the block. You know, I'm being thrust to play the Mike linebacker position where you have the green dot. So there's all these different factors coming into play where I'm just kind of trying to like, I'm, I'm treading water a little bit. Who helped Matters. you the most in that? Probably D'Amico. Yeah. Yeah. I think D'Amico, he knew that he had to pull something out of me in order to kind of run the show. I'm out there with some of the other rookies and I'm, I'm breaking the huddle. I'm like, uh, calm the rail, calm the rail, ready. And D'Amico, D'Amico's like, come here. <laughs> and he's like, man, look, all right, you the mic backer. You run the show, all right? You need to speak up, you need to make sure you command the huddle and you say it with conviction every single time you step in that huddle. And that was literally the only thing he needed to say to me. Over communicate, over communicate one play at a time, let's dominate. Having a guy who's been there, done it at a high level, played the position, I owe everything to D'Amico. I would not be the player I am today without him. It takes pouring everything you have into a young man, like a Fred Warner, who a third round pick, no one thought he could play middle linebacker, but I saw something in him, I saw a leader. I saw a guy who loved football, and I saw a guy who truly just allowed me to coach him. But now, to say that he's the best linebacker in the NFL, I, I pride myself in that. I love, love the way you play, man. You are one of a kind, mad respect. You know how to lead them. Hey, you too, man. Yes, sir, Keep bro. leading them boys. What? You know I see you. Yes, sir. Are you everywhere? A heck of a player, man. Every time you come around, like, you got to deal with Fred this week. Great player. I appreciate that, man. For real. Thank you. Me play. Thank you, dog. So you're the best. I appreciate no that. Doubt, bro. Everybody knows that means a lot. Online. That means a lot. Bro. We should be on pro. Thanks, bro. That was all I needed. Yeah. That was all I needed. You know, to to have one of the greatest to ever do it. You know, at that point in my career, I knew I was I knew I was doing all right. Mm -hmm. But then for him to say those words, yeah. He. Uh, he may have created an animal. <laughs> <laughs> that, he re that I'm sure he regrets yeah, when exactly. going up against you. Yeah, no, I mean, but stuff like that is so reassuring awesome. for a, a young player. Like, come on. Where does your work ethic come from? Uh, it comes from, first, my mom. My mom, Laura. she, yeah, my mom, Laura. I think the work ethic, watching her wake up early in the morning, going off to work at 7 a.m., coming back home 7 p.m., you know, like, that's just what was ingrained in me from an early age. and. Um, she always instilled in us getting good grades, putting the work in. When does Laura get mad at you? When are you in trouble? When did, did she say your middle? What is your middle name? Anthony. Anthony. Does she use the full name? Fred Anthony, yeah. When does she give a Fred Anthony? Um, probably me and my little brother were fighting over something, okay. yeah. Were you we, in trouble a lot as a kid? I wouldn't say so. No? I was a pretty good kid, you yeah. Were? Yeah, Why but me and my brother, we fought every day. About what? Anything. 
anything and everything. Just competitive. Our latest fight, pro our latest biggest fight probably was over a game of Monopoly. Recently? This is probably uh, a year ago. What were we fighting over? Who's the Scotty Dog or the or the top hat? I'm a competitor. Well, there you go. All right, it doesn't matter what I'm playing. There are no points for second right, place. Come on. Let's come go on. ahead and throw those hotels up real we can, quick. We can play whatever you want out here. I don't know if you guys got a little oh, you know boxy what? ball or something. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Yeah. You are a champion Ooh. of the coin toss. Are we going to do it? Are we going to do it? Yeah, because right. I need to know your tricks. What do you think they're going to call? Two. Yeah. Fred Warner, so they toss up the coin. Tails. Tails. What is your call? Tails. Tails is the call. It's your call. Tails. Tails. Tails is the call. Tails, baby. He's going tails, Fred Warner. Call the toss. Tails. It's called tails. Tails never fails. Oh, yeah. I'll lose, boy. I'll lose, boy. Oh, hey, you never lost it. <laughs> you always go tails? It's 50 50. So, I mean, technically, you, you don't could, say. You could, in my mind, tails never fails if, unless, I'm just, I just have a hunch. Well, you're such a guy that's consistent that I sure. feel like you would always call the same thing. All right, so let's, is that your final it. answer? Heads. You're going heads. Yeah. Here you go. See, you got to stay consistent. Holy smokes. If you've learned nothing from this interview, and just that might be the stick case, to what you've you learned, know. stick to what you know. I if I see you this year out there on the coin tops going heads on it, I would I'm never, pissed. I would never go heads in a in a real game because I always, I'll I'll live and die by a tail. Yeah. I don't know. Tail never fails. Is yeah. there an area of your game because you can do it all, right? Well, you, thank you. That's, you that's can. Very you nice can. I mean, look, the tape doesn't lie. You know, <laughs> just right. ask Aaron Rodgers. Um, <laughs> but you can do it all. I mean, uh, so between stopping the run, defending the pass, or rushing the passer, do you have a favorite aspect of your game? Mm, that's a great question. I think the part of my game that I'm most proud of is for sure the the run game, only because it's something that I've developed and worked the hardest at. Man, Fred Warner can do it all. This linebacker, Fred Warner, their top tackler this year, top tackler last year, flying around. When you're so used to playing outside over here, you're not used to being in the middle and reading, you know, center, guard, tackle, running back, full back, tight ends. That progression of trying to learn all that while still trying to play fast, play physical. I'm proud of that part of my game, but it's always a constant quest for improvement and trying to get better. Fred Warner, one of the leaders of this San Francisco defense, a captain, size, speed, range, the whole package. How important is that to a team just to have someone who continues to be talking, continues to be talking to everybody? Super important, you know. <laughs> um, but no, he's a great leader and um, gets our gets our mind right whenever we need it. Um, glad to have him. Have I told you guys yet that Fred Warner is one of my favorite players? What is it about football that you love the most? The feeling of putting on the red and gold put that helmet on, go out and be the man in the arena and make big plays, have the crowd around you screaming. And you could just let loose and be whoever you want out on that field. Like there's that feeling, especially in the big moments, is something I wish everyone could feel. In the Super Bowl, you know, getting a pick off of Pat in the third quarter. Intercepted! Patrick Mahomes has just been intercepted. You have been where most guys never even get to. Playing in that Super Bowl in 2019, only one year in the league, being on the precipice of going back again in that NFC Championship game, does it make it easier or harder to swallow that pill of not winning the Lombardi yet because you've been so close? Yeah, it makes it way harder. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's funny because like when you go so early in your career, you know, like I went in my second season, I don't want to say that I took it for granted because I didn't. I knew the gravity of the situation. People talk about how hard it is to get to that game, how hard it is to win one. If and when we do make it back, it's going to be that much sweeter. It don't matter what's happened, it's what we're going to do. What we're going to do. It's what we're going to do.